COVID protocols for the NFL are officially over. Um, that means there will no longer be uh, players missing due to COVID. There will no longer be uh, COVID testing or anything like that, which means uh, people need to really think back as to what they need to do with their IR slots again. Uh, for the last two years, we have been used to COVID almost. I guess this last year we started to become used to it and just come to accept the awesomeness that is like three or two IR spots. But um now moving back to the normalty of no COVID and not losing a player randomly just on a on a day before due to a random cough. Uh, how many IR slots should we have? One, two? I'm thinking one. I'm thinking just two. One. One. I, I'm thinking two, but just the one. You you give the ex. Okay, I, I think I. The, uh, well, we'll leave it up to democracy in our group mm-hmm. chat, and for the sake of arguing your point, please do. Yeah, I want to hear it. The cast. I just think two. I think one. I mean, yeah, you're going to have to, like, play the whole, oh, do I cut him, do I not? But it's like, and, yeah, there's more tasty people on the market. And also, it depends. If we're in a 10-man league again, two, I think, seems acceptable. Because if you're just doing one, there's just so many, like, weapons. It's, like, less strategy. You just, like, constantly have a stacked team. Whereas... You do two, it feels like that's like an even amount, you know what I mean? Especially if you were to do a 12-man league. If we do a 12-man league, however, then you're, there's a whole other two teams of people missing. Now one IR spot makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense because it's like if you do more than that, you're just going to have everybody's going to be gone. And anytime you have to get anybody off the waiver wire, it's going to be literally just reaching for somebody that's on the bench that you hope will come in because somebody's injured. So, but 10 man league, I vote two people, two IR slots. That's how I feel. I like the one. I just think it forces more people to make transactions and be a part of the league a little bit more. Good point. Plus I really, really, I think I hate, I think I hate more than I like the opportunity of having like the extra spot. I think I hate when somebody swoops like one of my homeboys, you know, that I like had to drop or something like, because they have two people in in IR and I, I like had to drop someone or something. And so they like that pisses me off. Or when I drop someone because I have three dudes injured and I have only two IR spots and then they just put them in one of their IR spots. I'm like, I hate you so much because you just swoop the guy I wanted to low key keep in my IR spot and you just put him in yours. And I know when he comes back, he's going to do good, but I had to make the decision if I wanted to win this week that I hate that frustration more than I like the opportunity of ha- being able to do that to someone else. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a really good point. Are your points similar to that? Isaiah? I just want the league to, I guess have to make more decisions. Um, so it is kind of similar, but, what I want them to do, I guess, would be have to drop the guy. God, <clears throat> really mucusy today. Um, so yeah, it's more of like a if, if you have those three IR slots, you have the ability to like, oh, this guy's got a boo boo, he's out, or this guy's suspended. Let me just kind of hold them, and people are Jesus Christ forced to make these decisions to where it's similar to, uh. I guess a more difficult league because then you, you have those available players. Like for instance, I wouldn't have been able to hold on to a B and force wouldn't have been able to probably hold on to CMC and all the other guys. Like he would have had to make a decision midway through the season. Does he want um, CMC or does he want uh, Calvin Ridley? And that would have been a huge toss up in the air. And I guarantee you someone in our league who had an available IR slot would have been all over one of those players to throw them in their, uh, IR spot or forced is then forced to use one of his bench spots for two guys that he could have an IR spot because who's he going to drop them for? So it's, it, it makes it a little bit more of like, a, mm, what am I going to do type of type of thing. And plus for me, I think it also helps me restrain from going through my usual uh, week to week of adding and dropping too many players and dropping somebody who's super awesome like uh, I don't know uh, uh, who who um, who's a that really good guy the running back for Arizona Cardinals. I got him for free. Connor? Oh I, no! Con- yeah, yeah, Connor. Yeah, James oh. Connor. Yeah. Had him and I dropped him. 
And I wouldn't have done that if I wouldn't have just like thought somebody was equal value. It would have been like forced to keep. I don't know. It's just it. It just makes it a little bit more difficult. And I like the the. I think it also uh, makes people like focus on the league more. So, you know, yeah. Like, because if you don't, you're gonna get burnt. <laughs> you're gonna get burnt. And so, pay attention to the league. We're all in it together. It's more fun when everybody's more active and more fun. And yeah. so, that's why I take. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> really, really interesting. I think that was really interesting, boys. But- hey, thanks for checking out the Sports with Dorks clip. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click here if you want to see the full podcast episode. We're also available on all podcast platforms. See ya.